New from the brand you trust for commercial vacuums, the Sanitaire Carpet and Upholstery Spot Cleaner. Unpack the hose and nozzle assembly, then remove the unit and power cord from the carton. First, let's identify the parts on the Sanitaire Spot Cleaner. A handle is built in for easy transporting. The nozzle at the top of the cleaner is the hose inlet connection. Below the handle is the recovery tank lid. In the back of the cleaner is the solution tank lid. The large screw-on plug in the front is the recovery tank drain. The brass fitting near the bottom is the solution hose connection. There are two rear wheels for easy maneuverability during use. The on-off switch turns on both the vacuum and the solution pump. The electric plug includes a retainer to secure the power cord connection. The hose and nozzle assembly includes a suction hose, solution line and a 3-inch metal cleaning wand with built-in brass valve to release the solution. Now you are ready to use the spot cleaner. The solution tank holds 1.5 gallons. Remove the solution tank lid and fill with a mixture of water and extraction detergent. Do not overfill. Follow recommended mix ratio on extraction detergent label. Use only commercially available detergent intended for machine applications. Pre-spotters are applied directly to the surface being cleaned. Follow the directions on the pre-spot label. Push the hose coupling into the hose inlet. Give a slight twist to secure. Attach the solution hose fitting. Make sure the quick connects snap together firmly. Attach the electric plug to the power cord provided. Now plug in to a grounded outlet. Use the carry handle when lifting the cleaner to the location to be cleaned. Push power switch to turn on. Press the trigger on the solution wand until there is a continuous flow of water. Your pump is now primed and ready to use. With the cleaning nozzle, you may begin cleaning. By pulling the trigger, you will dispense the solution onto the desired area. Use a backstroke motion. Because the vacuum is on, the fluid will quickly be sucked back into the wand. Make several dry passes over the affected area to completely remove any excess moisture. You will notice the area cleaned will be damp. This is normal. For cleaning up accidental spills, use a cloth or paper towel to absorb as much as possible before final cleaning with a pre-spotter. Apply the pre-spotter following the directions on the label. Always use the spot cleaner in an upright position. If it tips over, the suction automatically seals off to avoid liquid from entering the motor area. To restore suction, turn off the power switch and set the cleaner upright. Wait a few seconds for the motor to come to a complete stop. Now restart the motor. As the tank fills with liquid, the ball float inside the recovery tank rises until it seals itself against the motor inlet. When this happens, the motor sound changes to a higher frequency pitch and the unit will not have any suction. Turn off the power switch and empty the recovery tank. To empty the tank, remove the solution line and lift the hose to drain any excess liquid back into the tank. Remove the hose. Transport the unit to a suitable drain and empty contents by unscrewing the drain plug or tipping the cleaner upside down to drain the liquid through the hose inlet. Replace the drain plug to continue cleaning. Check the level of cleaning solution in the fill tank. When completed, empty tanks and thoroughly rinse. Clean and dry the tank body and accessories before storing. We hope you enjoy using the new Sanitaire Spot Cleaner. For more information, please visit our website at www.sanitairevac.com or call us at 1-800-800-8975.